Hi, this is Andrew Prokop from Aero Systems Integration, and today I want to demonstrate how IoT, or the Internet of Things, can be used to drive incident management workflows. To do so, I've put together a flow that begins with a multiprocessor sensor. This sensor, a Silicon Lab sensor puck, detects and reports temperature, humidity, UV level, light, and heart rate. The puck pushes data into the AeroConnect IoT cloud. I've configured the AeroConnect rules engine to fire an action when the sensor detects a light value above 1000 luminous flux units. When that occurs, I've configured AeroConnect to send a RESTful web services call to an Avaya Breeze workflow. This workflow will then send a text message alerting me of the light condition before creating a ServiceNow incident report. When opened, the ServiceNow record dynamically pulls all the telemetry data from the alerting sensor and displays it to the assigned technician. The technician can manually refresh the record with the latest telemetry information as he or she deals with the issue. Did you get all that? I expect it will be much clearer if I show you the entire workflow in action. I will start with AeroConnect. I created an action that fires off a RESTful web services request when the sensor detects that the light has exceeded 1000 luminous flux units. That request is sent to my Breeze server. As part of the message body, I pass along the device ID of the alerting sensor. Using Breeze, I created a very simple workflow that is launched when the AeroConnect web services call arrives. It sends a text message announcing the problem before invoking ServiceNow to create a new incident report. That incident report will indicate what the problem is and which device is experiencing the problem. This takes me to ServiceNow. So in ServiceNow, I created a ServiceNow application. This ServiceNow application allows me to monitor my IoT devices. So remember back in the Breeze workflow, when it created a new ServiceNow incident report? Well, this is one of the incident reports that was created. So ServiceNow assign, automatically assigns me a number. I have the description that came from the Breeze application, which said this was a light threshold exceeded incident. Here's the device that caused this event to occur. So let me open this up. Now notice there's a little delay for those telemetry values because what's happening right now is ServiceNow is going out and asking AeroConnect to return all the current values for this particular sensor. So the incident was created when the light went above 1000. But at this point now, the light has dropped down to 354. The technician, this is important for the technician as the technician is working the problem to say, okay, the light was this problem. This is when the ticket was opened up. This is what's happening right now. I can also store the historical data as well. So the data that was there when the ticket was opened um, at this point, though, I'm just pulling the most current data. I can go, as I'm working the problem and as, and as time is going on, I can go and reload the data and I can ask the sensor, give me your current value. So maybe I've, I have a tech, technician on site, technician is doing something, technician tries something, I can say, well, let me reload the values. Now I've repopulated those values. So I can get to the point where I realize the problem is fixed or the problem isn't fixed. Maybe I need to escalate it to the next level. To demonstrate the dynamic aspect, we're going to go, I've gone and closed the form, we're going to reload the form, and pull the current values. This one's a little higher than it was before. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to cover up the sensor a bit, lower the light, reload. Notice how it's less. I can move the sensor around, I can find some bright sun, so I have some more sun in this office space. bright spot. You can't see that, but I just moved the sensor into a brighter light. I'm going to reload again. Notice how the value is much higher now. So again, this is all dynamic. So when the form is loaded, I get the current values, but as the technician works the problem, the technician can continually get the latest values from the sensor. Well, there you have it. IoT sensors, you can have hundreds of thousands of these sensors, they're producing data. 
that data is being sent into the Arrow Connect Cloud. Arrow Connect Cloud allows me to put rules on that data. So I may have terabytes of data, but only a small amount of it is actionable. So I attach rules onto the data. Those rules, in my case, are firing off a Breeze application. I could have gone straight to ServiceNow, but going to Breeze has its advantages because I get the advantages of what Breeze can do in terms of uh, phone calls and database dips and other web services calls and if-then-else logic and attribute routing for contact center agents and on and on and on. I could have gone straight to ServiceNow though. Again, ServiceNow has a web services interface, but I think putting Breeze in the middle adds a lot of value. So the ServiceNow incident is created within the Breeze workflow. And then once I get into ServiceNow, we have integration again back to Arrow Connect and the IoT data so that the technician who's dealing with this issue can continually pull data, can pull historical data, can pull real-time data. There are a lot of other things that I could do with the Arrow Connect data. My example is fairly simple and I'm pulling the current data, but there's so much more that I can do. The whole point though is this integration, the seamless integration from cloud to cloud to cloud, you know, beginning with the sensor, and then it actually can go back to the sensor is, itself because there are certain commands that I can send down to the sensor to tell it to do things. So I have a full circle of things going on. So I hope you got something from this. Again, Andrew Prokop, Aerosystems Aero Integration. Thanks for listening.